Hey, good morning everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really good fast garlic chili oil. Now, I do have one on my channel, uh, but it's a very controlled one and the video is kind of old that it's getting blurry. Uh, and I couldn't find my candy thermometer and I ran out of chili oil and I was like, what? So, I just winged it and it came out really good. Uh, so, this is going to be more, you know, audience accessible because not everybody has a candy thermometer. Um, and it's really fast to make. So all you're going to need is two cups of really good quality peanut oil. If you can't use that or you don't want to, just get an unflavored oil with a high flash point. Like don't use like olive oil or avocado or something like that, please. Uh, it won't taste good. Now, uh, nine cloves of freshly chopped garlic. Do not use dried garlic for this. It'll just burn. Uh, one cup of chili flakes some sea salt, any kind of sugar. I have some organic cane. I've sterilized a jar. I just use an old spaghetti sauce jar for this. Just some boiling water, let it drain out, and you will find a canning funnel quite useful for this at the end. So put in your two cups of oil in a heavy bottom saucepan, very important. Throw in just like a pinch of salt, a pinch of sugar, probably around a quarter, half teaspoon each. All right, as you can see in the bottom, it's not dissolving. It's more for flavor and to help preserve it. Now, don't go crazy stirring this, because if you splash it up the sides, that oil is going to smoke when this gets heated up. So what you're going to do for temperature control in place of a candy thermometer is grab a nice piece of and just drop it in. Okay, it will just sit there doing nothing, but you're going to stand here and watch it. This is really important. Do not even think of walking away from this stuff, okay? Because walking away from hot oil on a stove is a recipe for disaster in any circumstance. Okay, so it just hit the first stage here. After not very long at all, I'm zooming in so you can see that the garlic bit has started to float to the surface. We've got to track it a little. I guess now I could kind of stir it a bit. First it's going to do is it's going to float to the top. Then it's going to start to sizzle. So when it's sizzling a lot, but it hasn't turned brown yet, take another chunk and just drop that in. Now this is the one we're really going to watch, because this one is going to start sizzling immediately. Okay, so this is magic time now. I'm going to have to follow it around because it's getting a life of its own there. So when this thing starts to brown, let me stir it back to the middle of the pot where you can see it. Okay, when it starts to brown but it's not burnt, this is so key. Okay, do not wait till it's a dark brown or you're going to wreck your oil. Alright, so that's time to do this all in one go. Okay, when it starts to come up, just stir that in. Okay, you're going to get that whole kind of french fry thing happening. When that's in, then take all your garlic and very carefully, wait for it to subside a little, and very carefully nudge that in. Let that sort of do the french fry thing for a minute. Now turn your heat off right away. This is very important. Okay, as soon as you've hit the second stage, make sure the oil is off. Now, this is where the artisanal part comes in. Uh, so if you don't like a deep, smoky flavor, remove it from the heat immediately. And if you do prefer a deeper kind of, it's hard to describe, but if you've ever had this stuff, you know what I'm talking about. Just let it go, okay? Because the heat is off and it can't burn at this point. Okay, this is looking good. It's settled down. There's just a little bit of a bubble. Now, you don't have to wait till it's totally cool to transfer it. Um, I personally like transferring it when it's still warm because the extra heat will make sure that the jar is fully sterilized. First thing you want to do is just kind of see how it's going. If you want to take the time to hand transfer the sludge. You can't go wrong with that uh, because you can't mess up if you pour it wrong. But I'm going to be a little adventurous here. 
Now, if you're going to hang on to the jar when you do this, hold it at the top. Do not hold it down here because it will get very hot very quickly. Okay? Now, being extremely careful, and I would only suggest this if you're highly experienced, just pour it all in. Okay. Now, at this point, I would release my grip, make sure your funnel is seated, and then just get all that good stuff gently in there without making too huge of a mess. You can see that if you didn't have a canning funnel for this, this would not be a lot of fun, okay? This is now ready to go. I leave it uncapped um, until it's cooled off because if you put the cap on right away, it's going to seal like it was canned and you're going to have a heck of a time getting it back open again, okay? You really have to try this. It's great. So that's how I make my fast garlic chili oil. Please give it a shot. I hope to see you again. Thanks. And subscribe.